Welcome to my channel. My name is Jackie Serrano Schwab. If you're new here, thanks for joining. And if you are part of my crew and have been subscribed and following, I appreciate you more than you will ever know. This makeup is my everyday go-to makeup. And I thought, hey, let me share it. You know, some people might want to see, like, I just want a little refresh, a little zhuzh. So I think this look is perfect. If this is something that Maybe you want to learn or maybe you want to see how I do this face, then please continue watching. And again, thank you for watching. So let's get started. Alrighty, so the first thing I'm going to start off with is the Tarte Base Tape Hydrating Primer. Now this does come out very, just, you know, wet, I would say. It's not very tacky. This would be good for like summertime to hydrate your skin. Now if you're going for more of like a matte finish look, I don't recommend getting like a hydrating primer because sometimes they do show through and then it starts to look a little bit oily. So if you're not about that, don't go for a hydrating primer if you don't want like the dewy, fresh skin look. The foundation I'm going to be using today is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. Now I really love this one because I'm not really going for like a real matte look today. Like usually I just kind of either go for a nice fresh skin look, nice dewy, fresh skin look. And this foundation is perfect. It's very luminous. So I put hydrating primer on and then I'm going to be wearing the luminous NARS foundation. Go for that dewy, fresh, glow kind of look. And this is kind of like a, you know, for me it's like a go-to for like spring, summertime. Especially since, you know, I don't want to be wearing a lot of makeup. Sometimes when I'm doing my foundation I like to make this face and it'll help if you have like a lot of creasing in here. It'll help get get those so it's not creasing in your face. So just puff like a balloon. <laughs> the next thing I like to move on to is just my brows. Like I said, it's just like an everyday kind of makeup. So I just kind of brush through. I'm using the Precisely My Brow by Benefit Cosmetics. This is shade 3.5. I just like to fill in, you know, any spaces that I might have. You know, sometimes I'll go extra with the brow, but I'm just trying to get in and go. My sister is getting married next week. It's pretty crazy. She's my younger sister and she's been with her going to be husband for, they've been high school sweethearts. So they've been together for about like nine years. I've already considered him like my brother way back. So like now it's kind of cool. You know, now it's like official and you know, she's super excited. I know I'll probably all my eyes out. She's like, you know, before I had kids, she, my little sister was like, my baby. <laughs> like, teaching her the ropes of things, and now she's getting married, and I'm like, oh my god. So this, what I'm going to be using, is actually also from Benefit. It's called Give Me Brow. So if you have very um, spare, sparse, no, spare, sparse, whatever, hair. If you don't have very much hair, this is really nice to just give you, like, fibers of hair. And it helps, you know, just to kind of darken it up or adds more. Looks like it more hair. So we're going with like a fuller little brow. All right, so brows are done. Next thing that I go for is I'm going to do concealer. This one that I'm using is the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Concealer, and I'm pretty sure it's just in shade light. I don't think they have very many shade ranges for this. 
This I like because it is more hydrating. So if you have a lot of dry eye underneath, creasing, like this would probably help you out a little bit. It's not too, like it doesn't dry so quick where it's like sinking into your creases. But I am gonna go in with an e.l.f. concealer brush, lightly blend it in. My dark circles have honestly gotten so much better, you guys. You have no idea. Like, I've tried so many products to try to help my dark circles. Nothing was working. You know, I was kind of like, I give up. I give up. Like, you know, I was over it. And I started using Air Repair, and they have a great, eye cream. I noticed results once I used it for, I used it religiously, morning, night, for at least a month. And I, for me, it's, they are very, they are not so dark. I don't look like the walking dead. Like I still get bags under my eyes, which I try to use the Dr. Brandon, Brandon, whatever, how you ever say that. And that's the eye depuffing, which I did in my FabFitFun video. Oh. And that actually has helped too. So I've been really liking my skin, liking the products that I've been using. I need to do like a probably like a skincare video just so you guys get an idea. But if you do want to try Air Repair, one of their products, you know, I highly suggest it. I will link down below a discount code for you guys. If you want to try it, if you'll get 15% off, I really recommend it. Just try it, especially all their moisturizers, hydrating serum. Their moisturizer is a complexion boosting moisturizer, which the first time I used it, I could tell instantly from my face that my complexion was actually looking glowy and fresh. And it's just a nice change up. So if you're looking for something, you've been like, like me, where you're just like, I give up. I'll use what I find and just hope for the best. I definitely suggest just trying air repair, see how you like it. If you do try it, you know, comment down below. Let me know how it worked out for you. I would like to hear from others if they love it as much as I do. Okay, so next, moving on, I'm just going to curl these, I almost said curl these brows, <laughs> eyelashes. I don't know if you guys can hear, but you can hear all the birds outside. It's like I'm in a Disney movie. <laughs> See, they're talking to me. Living my, my Disney dreams, being a princess. Ooh. I'm actually going to go in with my Laura Mercier powder and just kind of dab it under where I did my concealer to just make sure it sets and does not crease so we are not seeing a whole bunch of lines because nobody's trying to look older. Okay, we don't got time for that. We don't got time. You know, and sometimes I just like to do powder where I get like super like shiny and spots you don't want to get shiny. You know, just tap it. Tap it. Let's see, I'm gonna do some mascara. <laughs> and the mascara that I'm going to be using is, I'm not sure if I'm going to be saying this right, but I think it's Douce, D-O-U-C-C-E, Douce, Douce, but it's called Punk Volumizer Mascara, and that's the one I'm going to be doing today. And I like it. I really, sometimes, you know, I love a fat little wand because it just gets all of those itty bitties that, like, you know, sometimes you can't get and it clumps them. Ugh. So, like I said, you know, this is just my basic everyday kind of makeup from going, like, a quick grocery store run, going to Target to browse and take a romantic walk down the aisles. So also in the comments below, let me know what kind of mascara you you use or what is your go-to makeup. Like, are you more of just like a spot conceal and hit it, mascara, brows? Like, what is your I need to have every day? I want to know what, what people need. 
What are their needs? What are your needs, guys? Next thing that I'm going to go into is just Bahama Mama Bronzer by The Bomb. And I'm just going to kind of, you know, warm up my face a little bit. Not too crazy. And I'm actually going to take a small shader brush, Luxie 245. These brushes are so pretty. I got them from my BoxyCharm, and it's like a Luxie kind of like festival vibe. So they're all like pink and not orange. You know me, sucker for packaging. So I'm just going to take this and kind of just, you know, make my nose look a little straighter. I'm not going too crazy taking the foundation brush that I use and just kind of pressing it in. I'm not going for too much of a, give me the straight nose. It's whatever. I'm, I'm on the move. And then the next thing is I'm just going to add a bit of blush. I'm using the Cover Effects little Perfector Face Palette. This is the blush in Sublime. So this, I just like to add, you know, looks like I'm fresh, you know, just kind of warm it up on my face. Should have my beauty blender, but whatever. Now I'm going to be using, it's called Steve Laurent in Champagne. So the big gloss. I like this. It's very sheer. It's really pretty. Yeah. Oh, oh. When I find a winner, <laughs> guys, you have no idea. All right, guys. So this is the final look. This is my everyday get ready go makeup. Easy foundation, some mascara, some brows, lips. Done. So, you know, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to hit the button below. And also don't forget to comment. Let me know. Let me know what you want. If it's hair, hauls, makeup, just hit a girl up. Let me know. Comments below. If not, if you have not, please also you can follow me on Instagram at Jackie for Life. Let's be friends. Let me know. Hi. Say hi everybody. Like, you know, just hi, be my friend. I'm just kidding. So I hope you enjoyed this. If it's something you like, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.